this is our uh, Robert Lindsay. She is a tour guide in the, mu in the Collection Museum here in Lincoln. And the idea of this project is that visitors can come in and be given tours by the robot. Um, we have designed some tours with the museum together and these are tours around different topics. And the robot will take you around and actually show you and tell you a little bit of the background of those exhibits. It's an exciting project for us because we can actually learn what it takes to get robots out of the lab into the public spaces and it's exciting for the general public to actually understand better what robots can do, what are the challenges for them at the moment and actually have a real robot tour guide experience. The goal of this project is to have the robot uh, engaging with people in the museum and showing them around and showing what's in the exhibits and uh, explaining everything that is there. What we want to do is to learn by time the, uh, what, what the people prefer, what the people like of the museum and improving the robot behavior. Lindsay is now the, the outcome of many, many years of development in the Centre for Autonomous Systems here at the University of Lincoln. So we started off in 2013 with a project that was called Strands, where we started working towards long-term autonomy, robots that can actually work on their own for um, an ex extended period of time, so we actually had this robot deployed for a year in a care home already. So the main problems when you take robots out of the lab into the wild is that these environments change. So these robots all have to deal with change. So there's people around, there are objects being moved around. And normally when you see industrial robots, that's quite easy for them because there you have a very rigid, very static environment. While when you take robots out into the lab in public spaces, you have to deal with all sorts of dynamics. Mm -hmm.